Hey guys, today we're gonna go from zero to barbecue. We're gonna trim, rub, and smoke a brisket and two tri-tips. So if you like what you see, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment below. Hope you enjoy. We're gonna start prep by removing the silver skin, which is the thin membrane that sits on the outside of the muscle. Now the sharper the knife is, the better time you're going to have doing this. Uh, if your knife isn't sharp enough, you're going to have a problem getting underneath it. You would be best served by using a flexible boning knife, but since I don't have one, I'm just using a regular utility knife. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and move on to applying the rub. Now, I usually put a liberal coat of butter over the meat to make sure the rub sticks to it. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Some people use mustard, some people use oils. I've always used butter in the past. It's always worked best for me, so that's what I do. The rub we're gonna use is a brown sugar-based rub with a few other spices mixed in. It's something I make at home and something that I'll go over in a later video. You want to make sure you get a good coating of this rub on both sides of the meat and on the edges. This is going to be the flavor that you get when you're biting into the edge of the meat along with the smoke added. So you want to make sure there's enough where you can actually taste it all the way through. After you get done with the first piece, go ahead and do the exact same thing to the second piece. This one had a bit more silver skin on the end, so we had to kind of move the meat around to get all of it. And then go ahead and finish rubbing it and set it aside to work on the brisket. For the brisket, we're gonna have to remove a good amount of fat from it. Uh, a lot of the areas are over half inch thick. I generally try to aim for about a quarter inch thick over most of the backside of the brisket. Since I'm gonna be slicing this and then chopping it into small pieces, that'll give it a good fat to meat ratio and a nice texture for use in things like sandwiches or tacos. In addition to trimming the fat down, we also need to remove the silver skin on this piece of meat as well. There's a lot more of it, so it's a little more important to get as much as you can without removing too much meat. Once we're done trimming, we'll go ahead and use the same dry rub process as before, using butter to make sure it sticks to it, and a generous coating of rub on both sides of the brisket. At this point, we'll go ahead and get the meat outside and get it on the smoker. I'm currently using a 22 inch Weber Smoky Mountain. I usually set up temperatures for briskets and tri-tips at around 225 degrees Fahrenheit. And the brisket will go for about 20 hours. The tri-tip will probably take about two to three hours. The brisket's gonna go on the bottom rack since it's gonna be the last thing pulled out of the smoker and the tri-tip will go on the top since it'll be the first thing out.
I'm using an iDevices iGrill 2 to monitor temperatures in the smoker and a Barbecue Guru Party Q to control the temperatures. The tri-tips go on the top rack and the probes get inserted into the thickest point of the meat so that there's no guessing on when they're done. The tri-tips are now at about 130 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and pull them. Here's where you wanna take a tip from me and buy some heat resistant food safe gloves. Don't look like an idiot trying to pull them out with bear claws or burning your fingers with them. At this point, we'll go ahead and wrap them in foil, take them inside, throw them in a room temperature oven and let them sit for about 45 minutes to rest before we can slice them. It's been about 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and slice the two tri tips now. Make sure when you slice that you're slicing against the grain. I'm usually going for about quarter inch thick slices when I do tri tip. And the finished temperature after resting ended up being about 135 degrees. Uh, it's a little more well done than most people prefer. However, I've got several family members that have had food poisoning in the past and won't let me cook at anything lower than that. So before I get hate comments, that's the reasoning. It's now 9 a.m. the following morning. Brisket has been on the smoker for about 18 hours and it's at about 190 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and pull it, wrap it in foil, and let it rest again.
After the brisket's rested for about an hour, I'm gonna go ahead and slice it into pieces about three-eighths of an inch thick. Once the brisket's fully sliced, I'm gonna go back and chop it up into smaller pieces, about 3 8 of an inch to half inch in size. Final step is gonna to be to add a little bit of dry rub to it, mix it in while it's still hot, and then it's ready to serve. <laughs> 